Okay, so let's take a look at a little bit more of a complicated question, um, similar to the last one, but now we have x terms on both sides. So now <clears throat> the choice has really kind of been made for us that you really just have to move the x's over to one side and the numbers over to the other side, and you can do it for whichever side you feel most comfortable with. So again, I like to move things over to the left side. So in this equation here, what we're going to do is we need to start by moving the x term over. So I'm just going to rewrite it, and it's going to be negative 8 plus x greater than 3x plus 1. So how would I get a 3x, which is in this case a positive 3x, over to the left side and collect it with the existing x that we see there? So simply just minus 3x on both sides, okay? And that will take away the 3x on one side, so we're going to be left with a 1, in this side here we can it's plus one but we don't have to show the plus sign we now have a, a positive one x minus three which is going to give us negative two x so remember the x when it's written by itself has a number one understood to be in front of it so it's one minus three which is going to be uh, negative two and we have to carry the negative eight down from this that's still there from that side so now our second step here is we just need to move the negative 8 term over to the right side and collect that with the existing plus 1. So again, if I rewrite my equation, I will add 8 because that's what I have to do in order to remove the negative side from, from this part, this negative 8. That will leave me with 2x is greater than, and now we're going 1 plus 8, which is positive 9. So now in our third step, I'm just going to put the third step right here on this side here, we now have a negative term in front of a, a variable. So it's negative 2x plus 9. So how do we um, get rid of that, that term? Well, we simply just divide by the number in front of x. Okay, so just before I do that, and we're going to have 9 um, we're sorry, dividing by negative 2, and then we're going to have 9 over negative 2. Now, what happens to the inequality when we divide by a negative value? Well, we have to reverse it. So I'm just going to put that in a different color here. But what, So instead of it being greater than, we now flip it to be less than. So when we rewrite our expression and simplify it, the negative 2s go away, but we're going to be left with x is less than, and now 9 over negative 2, we can just simply write as 9, negative 9 over 2. It doesn't matter where you put the negative sign. There's only one of them there, so it can be either in the, the top or the bottom. But the important key thing here is that we have reversed the order of the um, inequality. Okay, and that is the rule that we need to watch for. And you only reverse the order and the inequality when we are dividing by a negative value. Okay, so that will flip it over and then this becomes the correct form of the solution. So this question is a little, a little bit complicated because it covers a couple of things. We have variables on both sides. So we have to move the variables over and collect them onto one side. It doesn't matter which side you do, but again, I like to move them over to the left side. And then we have to move the, the number values over to the opposite side because we have to isolate them. And then whatever we end up um, showing, um, we have to look and figure out what our coefficient is. Um, in this case, it was negative, so we divide by the negative value and end up flipping the sign. All right, so that's a, uh, a recap of those two questions. Um, you should be able to do the other ones. They're all very similar. Um, you just have to take it through step by step as you go through them.